Hi guys, this is the Java series part 66. Now let's discuss about the inbuilt class math. This math class is present inside the Java dot language that is the default package. So there is no need to import like this because this is the default package. Okay. With the help of this inbuilt class, we can find the largest number among two numbers and the square root of the number and the power of the given numbers and log base 10 of the given number and so on. Okay. Let's see this example. Here I have created the class. Class name is math eg. Okay. And inside this math eg, I have created the main method. Execution starts only from the fifth statement because here only we have the main method. And here I have created two variables x and y. Okay. x data type is double and y data type is double. Okay. I have initialized x value is 4 and y value is 2. Okay. Here I have used the inbuilt method max. This method is present inside the math inbuilt class. Okay. And this inbuilt math class is the static class. We have already discussed about the static class. So, what is the usage of static class? There is no need to create any object for this class to call the methods which are belongs to that class. Isn't it? So, here I have used the class name directly to call the methods which are belongs to that particular math inbuilt class. Math is a static inbuilt class. So, there is no need to create any object to call the methods which are belongs to this math inbuilt class. That's it. Okay. Here, I have used the max. So, what is the role of this max? It is used to find the largest among the given number. Here I have two variables. Okay. And uh, here I have used the square root. So this is used to find the square root of the given variable. And the power. This is also present inside the math inbuilt class. Okay. So x to the power y we will get if we use the POW. This is present inside the math inbuilt class. And if we want to find any log value, we can use the log inbuilt method, which is also present inside the math static class. Okay. And here, this log is used to find the value of Y. Okay. And this is also the inbuilt method. This method is used to find the log base 10 of the given variable. Likewise, this is used to find the log base 10 of y variable value. That's it. Okay, so inside the math static inbuilt class, we have so many inbuilt mathematical methods. So we can use these methods. Okay, I hope you all understood about the math inbuilt class. Okay, this is present inside the default package java.language. Okay, now let me execute this one. So, first, this is the output for this one. So, largest among 4 and 2. Which one is the largest one? 4. So, we got 4 here. Okay, and square root of the y. That is square root of 2. This is the result for the 14th statement. Okay. And power of x comma y. That is x to the power y. x value is 4. y value is 2. Okay. That's why we got this result. Okay. And log of x. That is log of 4. Returns this value. And log of y log of 2 returns this one. Okay. Here, log base 10 of x, that is log base 10 of 4, returns this value. 
and log base 10 of y that is log base 10 of 2 returns this value okay we have completed this session if you have any doubts drop the message on the comment section if this video is useful to you like and share for more videos subscribe my channel hit the bell icon then only you will get the notification for my new updates have a nice day thank you